Uh, Amy, what would you tell an undecided voter in Paducah, Kentucky, that the biggest single reason why Mitch McConnell had to be defeated, what would that reason be? Look around. Are things getting any better? This man has been in office for 35 years. Is your life better than it was just six years ago? He has mm. got no vision for the future. We have got to have new leaders. If you look at what's happening in this country with the pandemic, 136,000 Americans have died more, uh, have died than in any, all of the war since World War II combined. If you look at our economy in shambles, uh, this is a leader that's got to go. And a lot of people here in Kentucky believe that. It is not a really a partisan thing. That's why I'm using limit. But we have to have a vision for the future that prioritizes things like health care. We have seen it now more than ever. I mean, we have this pandemic where you have health care uh, tied to your employment. And now we have massive unemployment. Uh, people are hurting. They, I, I, just a few weeks ago, I was in the unemployment line um, talking to folks in Frankfurt. And we have people who, you know, single moms who had to leave their full-time job because the daycares were closed. And so who's gonna take care of the kids? And you know, this young uh, mother was there trying to figure out why her check hadn't gone through. She's just trying to put food on the table. We've gotta prioritize this. And we are in a, a pandemic of epic proportions here. And we don't have leaders that are prioritizing everyday people. And I would tell you, we need that now more than ever. This is a national security crisis. It's an economic crisis. We got to have good, solid leaders for the future who have operated in the 21st century. Mitch McConnell has operated in Washington, D.C. for far too long, and look at where it's gotten. Us.